Hi, I'm Phyllis. My website is southernfrugal.com. Today we're going to make a peanut butter treat. I'm not sure if it's like candy or kind of like a cookie almost, but this is from a viewer and her name is Liz Barnstead. And I got uh, this recipe from her a couple of weeks ago in the comments. And so we're going to give it a try today. All right. We're just going to start out and I'll tell you the ingredients as we go along. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is put some ingredients in the pot. I'm going to turn that on high to start with. So the first ingredient is going to be one cup of light corn syrup. I'm going to put that in the pot. Next ingredient is going to be one cup of white sugar, and I will uh, see if I can't find her comment and copy her recipe exactly onto uh, the bottom of this video. All right, so we got one cup of white sugar, and then one cup of brown sugar, and this is the dark, dark brown sugar. So what we want to do is just boil these together. Now, my guess is what the corn syrup is going to do is prevent any of the sugar from becoming uh, crystallized again after we boil it. Yeah, so this is going to take a little while, I think. So let me turn this back up. We just need to get this boiling to get everything dissolved. All right, so y'all, I have got a lot, lot of recipes. And uh, I have uh, copied them down, and we're going to try to make them. It might take months, but, but we're going to try to make them. So if you all want to send recipes, you can send them in the uh, comments section. And just, you know, send me your best, okay? And tried and true recipes. Because I'm going to do them, uh, make the recipes without trying them out first. So make sure they're really good. All right, this is going to take a while for sure. So when the sugar gets hot, it's going to kind of melt anyway. Yeah, we just need to get it boiling. So we have uh, tried a lot of y'all's recipes. And uh, I don't mind at all doing videos when I'm making them. And we have gotten some really, really good recipes, I'll have to tell you. All right, so this is getting thinner now and incorporated. Let me show you what it looks like. I can get it closer. It's getting definitely thinner and more incorporated. Let me turn my camera down just a little bit. There we go. And that's my dogs in there playing. If you hear the growling. All right, my guess is this is going to get really hot in just a minute here. a wooden spoon since I know this is going to get really, really hot. And I wouldn't think this was something you would want to do with young children just because I know that sugar is going to get extremely hot. So all we want to do is just bring this up to a boil. I don't really think it's going to stick to the pot. Yeah, I don't think it's going to stick. All right. Well, it's going to be boiling in a minute. And thank y'all for all the recipes.
recipes that y'all have sent in. And let me say again, let me bag this up a little bit. Let me say again, you don't, I don't think you have to worry about how long it is. I think that, uh, you know, whatever you uh, put down there in the comment, I think they'll care. I mean, don't make it like two pages, you know. But uh, most recipes, you can give the ingredients and just kind of uh, give the instructions and, in, in, you know, as little um, amount as you can, amount of writing as you can. All right, this is beginning to look like it's getting ready to boil. Let's see. Yeah, it's definitely much, much thinner now. Much thinner. Now I've got some crystals around the side of the pot. I've noticed that. And that probably is a no-no. I'm just guessing now because I've not tried this before. Okay, it's definitely boiling. I'll try to push some up on the side to get rid of those crystals. It's definitely just a slow boil now. And it's definitely not sticking to the bottom. Gonna see if it won't rise up a bit and get rid of those crystals around the edge of the pot. syrup should prevent the crystals. That's usually what it does because it's a different type of sugar than the crystallized sugar here. All right, we've got a good boil going on now. Let it rise up a little bit more. get it up to a good boiling point is my understanding. Alright, I'm going to leave it on the burner. So the next thing we're going to do is put in one and a half cups of peanut butter. And this is the one half cup. Right there. Stir that around and get that all melted. This is the one cup, so that's one and a half cups of peanut butter, and I am using the Jif Natural peanut butter, not the crunchy either. I'm just using regular peanut butter. Get every bit of that out of there. Got my burner off now, by the way. Let me get there. still some more in there. There. I got it. You know, this is very, very hot, so y'all want to be really careful. So let me see if I can get that all mixed in now. smells good. Of course, I love peanut butter anyway. Oh, boy, that smells good. Mm. Now, I used the dark brown sugar, and uh, now Liz didn't say to use the dark brown or the light brown. She just said brown sugar, so I think the dark brown gives a, 
a, you know, more butterscotchy type taste than the light brown does. So, all right, I think we got that pretty well mixed up now. All right, I'm gonna move y'all over to the other side of the counter while we do the next step. All right, hold on. All right, I moved y'all over to the side counter so we can get this all mixed in together. So the next step is we have got six cups of just the regular corn flakes. This is not the frosted flakes, it's the original corn flakes, and that's six cups. So put those in a big bowl, and so now we have to incorporate this peanut butter and the um, brown sugar and the white sugar and the corn syrup in with the corn flakes. So I'm just going to pour that in. Start mixing it up. Yeah, there's no salt, no vanilla, none of that. Let's see if I can get that out. Now I've got a dish to put this in and it's buttered and it's a 9 by 13 inch Pyrex dish or bowl or casserole dish really. Alright, so now we're going to mix those cornflakes and of course you're going to need a big bowl unless you use a uh, a big pot and you could dump the cornflakes right in there. This looks like it's going to get hard pretty quick, so I better hurry. Yeah, this gets hard very fast, so we need to do this quickly. And it's still really, really hot. Make sure all those cornflakes are covered. All right, I'm going to have to get this in the bowl. Let me move y'all back a little bit. I have to get this in the bowl really quick. And again, this is a 9 by 13 dish, and it's well buttered. So we got to do this quick, quick, quick before it gets completely hard. pretty hot still. All right, so we're going to give this a taste from some in the bowl. And I'm assuming that we have to cut this like in little squares or something. I'm really not sure. Anyway, I've got a taste of this if it's not too hot. Very good. Mm. Very crunchy, very crunchy with the corn flakes. I'm gonna let Mr. Bucky have the bowl. He'll love that. No, yeah, this is good, y'all. I think we're gonna cut it in squares, little small squares once it gets cool. Alright, y'all. I'll be back in a minute and when it gets cool and we'll show you what it looks like. 
I can't find a finger to cut the camera off. Here we go. All right, we have finished the uh, peanut butter crunch, and I'll have to tell you it's very, very good. And I'm going to taste a one for you. I've already been eating on part of it. I'll show you how I ended up doing this. I've already eaten most of this. They're really, really good. And the crunch in them is just great. All right, so what happened was, remember I've never made these before. And uh, so when mixing them with the uh, cornflakes, they got, it, it started getting hard pretty quick. But I did get them in the casserole dish and got them mashed down. And so I waited a little while and was cutting them. And they didn't cut very well into little squares. So I decided to make them into little balls. Now they were still hot, not real hot, but kind of hot. But I could see that if it got cold, they would uh, probably get too hard to turn into little balls. So that's what I did. And I can see these for Christmas being a great treat. They're, they're very much like fudge on the inside. Let me see if I can show you one. Actually, I'll see if I can cut one in, in half here. Let me get another knife. So I'll cut this one in half. Can you all see that? Sort of, and, and it really tastes like uh, uh, just a straight peanut butter fudge is what it tastes like. Well, I've already cut that one. I'll have to eat it. They're chewy and they're crunchy. And they're actually salty. I guess that's to do with the peanut butter and the corn flakes, too. Anyway, I'm going to freeze these. I just know they'll freeze well, even though I've never done it. I'm just sure they will. And so you don't want to eat many at one time because they're very sweet. Mm -hmm. And the cornflakes just makes them real crunchy. So good. All right, y'all. Thanks to Liz Barnstead for the recipe. And I think she said that in a comment on September 16th. That's the date I wrote on my little note. Anyway, I will post this. And down below, I'm going to post her comment so you can see her exact recipe. And she might want to add to in the comments and tell us, you know, if you can uh, cut these in squares, because I, I found that very difficult. But it was easy enough to roll them in balls while they were still warm. In fact, it was real, real easy. So anyway, we will see you all next time. Bye for now.